Hello everyone, ARG back with some more Franchise Aki Manager 9 and today in the wonderful world of historical inaccurate Aki we have the Artford Waiters who are poised to play in the NHL playoffs in 1984. I was all of six years old when it was 1984. Uh, we're coming in limping uh you know the story for the like second half of the season uh, pretty much all of my best players got hurt at the same time except for peter stashney and now that i've mentioned that probably that i jinxed him uh, but yeah you see the the hunting board for the game engine here on the bottom right corner uh, Anton Stashny playing Earth, Wolf Payment playing Earth, Randy Canniworth playing with a broken neck, Paul Coffey fractured skull, he's not playing, and Bo Berglund's about to come back. The only good news is Mark Messier aggravated his injury, then I put him on the injured reserve, and now he's back right on time for the playoffs. So yeah, I don't know how we're going to fare, to be honest with you. Uh, we are at top of the conference. Uh, With 104 points, that was one more point than the Flyers, so we have uh, all my advantage at least until the finals, assuming we make it there. And then the only team that had more points than us this season was the Edmonton Oilers. So if we face the Oilers again in the finals, the Oilers are going to have the all my advantage. But it is a far road before we get there. Um, <clears throat> We are. We have to dispatch of the Boston Bruins first. Now the Bruins went 30, 43 and seven. The beauty of 1980s hockey is that you can make the playoffs with a record like that. In 2023, forget about it. So uh, they finished ninth in the conference and they still made the playoffs. Uh, first round is a uh, best three out of five. Uh, and of course, we're starting at home uh, during the regular season. We were 6-1-1 one, one against the Bruins. And since we're about to start the playoffs, we are going to look at their team again. All right, so they have Graham Nicholson, that's hurt. He's not going to play. Other than that, they have Mike Milbury, that's hurt. He may or may not play. Everybody else is healthy. So they have Paul Harrison and Pelly Lindbergh in net. They have Butwell, McCrim, and Park Waters later. Suter, Bork, and Milbury on D. And up front, they have FJ's favorite, Mike Krushelinski. Uh, they have Rose Seckard, Settlebauer. Wilson, Schneider, Miller, Plett, Rice, Bro, Ongren, Middleton, Napier, and O'Reilly. All right, so uh, we have one day off here, and then we get started. So go, waiters, go. Let's uh, let's win the Stanley Cup, shall we? All right. So, uh, yep, Boston is in town. Petty Lindbergh is going to be a net for the Bruins. We're going to go with Jim Martinson. Go, waiters, go. Let's uh, let's make Hartford proud. Oh, we won the first game 10-5, folks. A, a statement game here. We, although we did allow five goals, that's not all that great. But, uh, yeah, we outshot Boston 38-33 to in that game. Peter Stashny was the first star of the game. He had three goals and an assist. Rob Ramage was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Gordy Roberts was the third star with three assists. 11,284 people in attendance for the game. Bruins scored the first two goals of the game. Then we tied the game. Glenn Anderson from Gordy Roberts and Peter Stashny. Then Peter Stashny from Glenn Anderson and Rob Ramage. Then the Bruins scored and we tied the game again. Wilf Payment scored unassisted. 3-3 after 1 and we had a fight between Rob Ramage and Al Seckard then in the second period Rob Ramage scored from Mark Messi and Brettel then Brett's Brent Sutter sorry from Brettel and then Peter Stashny from Mark Messi and Gordy Roberts it was 6-3 Hartford Boston will claw back with two goals by Bob Miller uh, who also had a hat-trick by the way 6-5 Hartford here after 2 
but in the third period it was all waiters. We scored four more goals. Peter Stashny completed his hat trick from Glenn Anderson and Gordy Roberts, then Russ Fitzpatrick from Ray Newfeld and Dave Poulin. Then Dave Poulin scored from Matty Agman and Rob Ramage. And with two seconds left to go in the game, we were like, screw that, we are scoring another goal. Ray Newfeld from Russ Fitzpatrick and Ken Morrow. It was a 10 5 victory. All right. Strong game for Bob Miller, he had a hat trick. Big game for Peter Stashny, as we saw three goals and an assist. North Stars, Bobby Smith is suspended during the playoffs. He's gonna miss three games, that's huge. That's one of their good players. Brett Callaghan is back from suspension in Edmonton, back in the lineup. All right, so who else won? And, <clears throat> sorry, Edmonton beat Winnipeg, 5-3. Detroit beat St. Louis. Vancouver beat Calgary. Minnesota beat Toronto. Islanders beat Washington, we beat Boston, Philadelphia beat New Jersey, and the Nordiques beat Montreal. All right, so that was our day off. Bo Berglund almost recovered. Well, FJ, I just mentioned your name because I am playing against the Bruins who iced Mike Krushelinski. I had a thought for you, and maybe it is a late time for me, but what does it say about you, sir? What time is it where you live? I'm. You're being told. But yeah, I am live at a late time. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, so game two of the series here against the Bruins. Let's see if we can dispatch them early. Petty Lindbergh in net again for Boston. Jim Martinson in net again for us. Go, waiters, go. Oh, a 4-3 victory. So they are not necessarily decisive wins per se, but we are winning. So I will take it. So now we have a 2-0 lead in this series, thanks to that 4-3 victory. Uh, we were outshot to 47-31. Brett Hall was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Willie Plett was the second star with two goals as well. And Dave Poulin was the third star with a goal and an assist. Uh, we had 11,161 people in attendance for the game. <clears throat> You should look up the <clears throat> FG, you should look up the little hockey game that I started playing. It's pretty fun. It's a little silly, but uh, it's fun. It's very entertaining. All right. Um, it's called Tape to Tape. Uh, I did two streams on it, two videos. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting. All right, so Dave Poulin scored the first goal of the game from Gordy Roberts and Russ Fitzpatrick, then Brettel from Ken Morrow and Dave Poulin. It was 2 nothing hard third year after one. We also had a fight between Mark Messi and Tom Rowe. The second period, Boston scored, reduced the lead by one. Then Peter Stashny scored from Glenn Anderson and Darren Veitch. It, it was 3-1 Hartford. Then Boston scored. It was 3-2 Hartford after two. We had a one-goal lead. Boston tied the game in the third period. And FJ's favorite, Mike Krushelinski, got a, an assist on it. Uh, but with a minute and 12 seconds left, Brettel scored from Matty Agman and Darren Weich, and that was a game winner, folks. We are up to nothing in the series. Strong night for Tim Curry. He had a hat trick against the Devils. Open ice leads to Productive Night for Ken Lindsman. In that same game, he had a goal and four assists. For what? For the game that I told you or for the for the game I just sent? Great night for Mike Bossy. He had a hat trick against the Capitals. Oh, for Krushinski. Well, yeah, I mean, it is Mike Krushinski. A uh, big game for Clark Gillies. He had a hat trick against the Capitals. Suspension for Toronto's McDonald. Lanny McDonald is going to miss one game. And Bo Berglund is almost going to yeah, it's just too bad. I don't have him on my team. I, I have, you know, I have 
peons like Peter Stashny and, you know, Mark Messier and Brettol. <laughs> Those peasants. I could have Mike Krasinski. All right, so we have a day off, and then the series moves to Boston, where I can eliminate the Bruins in three. That would be beautiful. All right. Oh, I forgot to look at the other score. I always do that. I always do that. Yeah, probably not. Now, Paul Coffey, had he not suffered a fractured skull, probably would have hit 150 penalty minutes. All right, let's play in Boston. Let's see if we can sweep the Bruins. All right, Martinson in goal for us. Petty Lindbergh in net for the Bruins. Go, waiters, go. Oh, yeah, we dispatch of the Bruins in three games. Of course, of course. And it's, don't forget it's. It's are also important. All right, so a 7-2 victory to sweep the Bruins on their own ice. We were outshot 31-28. to Matty Agman was the first star of the game. He had three goals and an assist. Brettel was the second star with three assists. And Greg Deberge was the third star with a goal and an assist. Yeah. And suspensions. All right, so the Bruins scored the first goal of the game, then we scored three goals. Dave Poulin from Matty Agman and Ken Morrow, Marianne Stashny from Russ Fitzpatrick and Brent Sutter, and then Matty Agman on the power play from Mark Messi and Brettel. 3-1 Hartford after one. There was a fight between Tom Rowe and Rob Ramage. Then in the second period, we scored four goals. Matty Agman from Gordy Roberts and Mark Messi, Greg Teberge from Dave Poulin and Darren Veitch, Peter Stashny scored his fifth of the playoffs from Brettol and Greg Teberge, and then Matty Agman from Peter Stashny and Brettol, 7-1 Hartford after two. Boston did score one goal in the third period, but yeah, it was 7-2. Ooh, and now that's... Uh, Analytical, yes, plus minus. Such a great analytical tool. Such accurate, such accuracy. Oh, Glenn Anderson and Ken Morrow got hurt. So, Glenn Anderson can play with his injury. Ken Morrow, I don't know. Oh, no, one to two months. Oh, that's not good. All right, so Ken Morrow is gonna miss four weeks going down with a fractured thumb. Glenn Anderson is day to day, so we're good for that. Red light stays on for Matty Agman, as we saw he had three goals and an assist. <clears throat> Suspension over for Lanny McDonald, already back. And Bo Berglund is also going to be back. All right, so I need to take care of a couple things here. Ken Morrow goes to the injured reserve. Speaking of the injured reserve. Oh, Berglund was already on the, ah, he was already in the lineup. There you go. Now I need a defenseman. I do not know who to get. Not you, hopefully. Uh, historically, it's been kitchen. <laughs> Yikes. I'm not sure I can do it. Well, it depends. If I play in the 90s, if I put together like a, a team with Brendan Shannon, Gary Roberts, Kevin Stevens, I might have a shot. And Keith Kachuk. <laughs> yeah, that guy is... Uh... Oh, I did get this guy not too long ago. Maybe I call him back up. Stuart, you're not very good. Yeah, Bill Kitchen is probably... Bill Kitchen or this Killstrom guy. Let's try the kill. Let's try Killstrom. I just acquired him in a... in a trade. I liked his name. So I went for him. I'm uh, I'm like that sometimes. All right, uh, Edmonton B twenty. Uh, I don't know. I f I forgot to look at the scores from you know the previous set of games. So 
It's probably just better to come here and check. So we won. Nordic swept the abs. Flyers up 2 1 against the uh, Devils. Islanders swept Washington. North Stars swept Toronto. Red Wings swept St. Louis. Edmonton is up 2 to 1. And wow, lots of sweeps. Lots of sweeps. Oh, that's true. In two days, you uh, get to figure out if the abs are uh, going to draft Connor Bedard. You must be excited. You have 8.5% chance to win the lottery. All right, let's see. Oh, New Jersey tied their series against Philadelphia. That's going to the limit. Uh, Edmonton eliminated Winnipeg and... I don't remember Vancouver. Oh yeah? You really believe that he's gonna be the real deal, huh? Everybody knows that he is. Oh, the Devils with the upset. The, the New Jersey Devils with their 71 point season took out the 103 point uh, Philadelphia Flyers in the first round. Wow. All right, now we are going to be playing against the Nordiques. Um, uh, now it's switched to a best four out of seven. We start at home, of course. So we're going to take a look at the three real quick. So we play Quebec, New Jersey plays the Islanders, Detroit against Minnesota, and Vancouver against Edmonton. And it starts tonight in Hartford with the Nordiques in town. Oh, I forgot to look at their team. That's okay. Michel Dion is going to be in net for the Nordiques. Jim Martinson is going to be in net for us, and it's going to be go waiters, go. Oh, 8-1 victory to start this series. We outshot the Nordiques 48-43. Mark Messi was the first star of the game. He had two goals and two assists. Jim Martinson was the second star with 42 saves. And Dave Poney was the third star with two goals and an assist. Definitely our goaltending made a difference here because the shots were not that far apart. But our goaltender didn't let in eight goals. 12,887 people in attendance for the game. So you didn't get a, Slav, uh, a Slavkowski jersey, but you're going to get a Connor Bedard jersey a little bit. You feel a little bit more confident with Bedard than you are with Slavkos Slavkowski. Oh, God, I struggle with his name right now. All right, so Brett Hall scored the first game, uh, the goal of the game from Marianne Stashy and Tommy Samuelson. Then in the second period, Mark Messi scored from Darren Veitch and Bo Berglund. Dave Poulin from Randy Kennewerth and Greg Tiberge. Then the Nordiques scored a goal. 3-1 Hartford after two. Then in the third period, we scored five goals. Mark Messi from Brent Sutter and Tommy Samuelson. Peter Stashny from Mark Messi and Gordy Roberts. Dave Poney scored his fifth from Bo Berglund and Mark Messi. Peter Stashny from Brettel and Rob Ramage. And finally, Gordy Roberts scored on a power play from Dave Poulin and Randy Cunningworth. 8-1 Hartford. The final score in game one. Yes, sir. Tommy Samuelson improves that right defense. Good for him. Okay, all right, so. Let's see what the other teams did. Uh, Bob Bourne keeps fans on their feet all night. He had a hat trick against the Devils. Suspension over for Bobby Smith back in the lineup with the North Stars. Glenn Anderson feeling a little bit better. All right, so Edmonton beat Vancouver, Detroit beat Minnesota, we trounced Quebec, and the Islanders beat the Devils. Oh, Glenn Anderson is already recovered. That was a short injury. I like them like that. All right, game two. Still in Hartford. We are up 1-0. Gilles Maloche is going to be in net for the Nordic, so they're shaking things up. We're going to go with Jim Martinson. Of course, go waiters, go. We lost 4-1. All right, series tied at one, and it's going to Quebec City now. 
All right, so we were out shot 27 to 26, and that one, Michel Goulet was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Real Clusi was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Phil Russell was the third star with two assists. 12,772 people in attendance for the game. Anton Stachny scored the first goal of the game from Jay Wells and Brent Sutter. Then the Nordics scored twice. It was 2-1. to They scored in the second, made it 3-1. And again in the third, made it 4-1. We had a fight in the third period between Jay Wells and Dale Hunter. Uh, yeah, that... Uh... And now Brent Sutter is hurt again. He's day-to-day. Brent Sutter cannot play Wolfman, can play Randy Cunningworth, can play, they can play Art. It's the playoffs. It's the 80s. Uh, Alright, the series moves to Quebec City, where we are going to face the Nordiques. Um, yeah. We need to win those games. Jim Martinson is going to be in net for us. Jim Maloche in net for the Nordiques. Come on, waiters, don't let me down. And they've let me down. We lost 8 6. We are down two games to one in the series against the Nordiques. 8 6 loss on the road. We outshot Quebec 54 to 35. Anne Cote was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Dave Poulin was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Normand Rochefort was the third star with two assists. All right, so Nordic scored the first goal of the game. Then we scored twice. De twice Dave Poulin from Darren Veitch and Matty Agman. Then Bo Berglund from Dave Poulin and Darren Veitch. 2 1 hard third after one. Then in the second period, Glenn Anderson scored from Mark Messi and Gordy Roberts. It was 3-1, then the Nordiques scored three goals. They were up 4-3, then we scored two. Peter Stashny from J. Wells and Mark Messi, then Greg Teberge from Bo Berglund and Matty Agman. It was 5-4, the Nordiques tied the game, and then we took the lead again on the power play. Peter Stashny from Matty Agman and Wolf Payment. 6-5 after two. Unfortunately, the Nordiques scored three unanswered goals in the third period, and we lost 8-6. All right, Ray Neufeld is more comfortable playing his new position. Vancouver beat Edmonton, Detroit beat Minnesota, we lost against Quebec, and oh, the Devils shut out the Islanders for nothing. What a game. Again, I missed some games because I'm like that. The Devils are up 2-1 against the Islanders. What's going on with the Mickey Mouse team? All right, so Nordiques are up, Devils are up, Red Wings are up. All the series are 2-1, to one, so nobody's facing elimination. All right, we need to tie that series, uh, or else we're going to be in trouble. Jim Martinson in net for us, Gilles Maloche in net for the Nordiques. Come on, Hartford, you can do it. And you did it, 5-2 victory. Series tied at 2 now, and it's going back to Hartford. Uh, we outshot the Nordiques 44 to 32. Marian Stashny was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Glenn Anderson was the second star with two assists. And Gordy Roberts was the third star with two assists as well. Peter Stashny scored his 10th of the playoffs for Mark Messi and Glenn Anderson. It was 1-0 Hartford after 1. Nordic scored twice in the second period, made it 2-1. Then we scored twice again as well. Matty Agman from Darren Veitch and Marian Stashny. Then Rob Ramage from Marian Stashny and Gordy Roberts. A 3-2 lead for the Hartford Whalers. Then we added two more goals in the third period. Brettel from Russ Fitzpatrick and Anton Stashny. Then Dave Poulin from Glenn Anderson and Gordy Roberts. 5-2 the victory for the Warriors. Alright, let's see here. A strong night from Mike Bassi. He had three goals and an assist. Alright, so Edmonton beat Vancouver 6-3. Uh, Minnesota beat Detroit. We beat Quebec. And the Islanders tied their series as well against the Devils. That would be one heck of a feat if the Devils were to take out the Flyers and Islanders back-to-back. Alright, -back. we are back home. We need this win, folks. 
to make it 3-2 in the series. Gilles Madoche in net for the Nordiques. Jim Martinson in net for us. Come on, waiters. A 7-3 victory. All right, so we are one win away from the conference finals. Uh, we outshot the Nordiques, 37-28. Glenn Anderson was the first star in the game. He had a goal and three assists. Peter Stashney was the second star with two goals. And Gordy Roberts was the third star with two assists. 12,197 people in attendance for the game. Nordic scored twice in the first period. Then Matty Agman scored his fifth of the playoffs from Dave Poulet and Marion Stashney. 2-1 Quebec after one. There was a fight between Mark Messi and Dale Hoganson. Then we scored three unanswered goals in the second period. Peter Stashney from Mark Messi and Glenn Anderson. Then Glenn Anderson from Gordy Roberts. And finally Mark Messi from Glenn Anderson and Darren Veitch. 4-2 Hartford after two. In the third period, Marion Stashney scored from Ray Newfeld and Gordy Roberts. Then Dave Poney unassisted. It was 6-2. Nordic scored, made it 6-3. And then we scored one more goal. Peter Stashney from Darren Veitch and Glenn Anderson. 7-3, the final score. And as I said, one win away from the conference finals. But of course, we have now an injury. Russ Fitzpatrick is hurt. Tommy Samuelson improves at right defense. All right. Okay, Fitzpatrick is day to day. Let's see, I have a lot of injuries. Okay, Connie Ward can play. We're good. We're, we're, we're golden. Very, very healthy. Connie Ward can play with his broken neck, no problem. But then you have some guys that get a facial cut and they, they cannot play for a week. Uh, Edmonton beat Vancouver, Minnesota beat Detroit, the Islanders beat New Jersey. Yeah, I think uh, if we win past the Nordiques, I think that's, I think we're facing off against the Islanders, to be honest. All right, we are in Quebec. A win now will make us win in six and may make us proceed forward. Jim Martinson in net for us. Gilles Maloche in net for the Nordiques. Come on, waiters. I believe in you. And a weighty W to end the series against the Nordiques. A 7-4 win at the Colisée de Québec. Shots were tied at 42 shots apiece. Mark Messi was the first star of the game. He had three goals and an assist. Greg Teberge was the second star with three assists. And Breton was the third star with a goal and an assist. Uh, Randy Cunningworth with his broken neck scored the first goal of the game. It was a shorty from Dave Poulin and Greg Teberge. Then the Nordic side of the game. Then we took the lead again. Peter Stashny from Bo Berglund and Matty Agman. 2 1 Hartford after one. Then in the second period, the Nordic scored twice. They were up 3 2, but then Mark Messi tied the game from Rob Ramage and Jay Wells. It was 3 3 after two. Then in the third period, Mark Messi scored his fifth from Ray Newfeld and Greg Teberge. Then Gordy Roberts from Glenn Anderson and Mark Messi, 5-3 Hartford. Nordics came to within one, but then we scored two more. Mark Messi from Brettel and Peter Stashny. And then Brettel scored his fifth in an empty net from New Ray Newfeld and Greg Teberge. 7-4, the final score. And we are moving on. Strong, strong night from Mark Messi. He had three goals in an assist against the Nordiques. And Ray Newfeld improves at center. Good for him. Let's see the other series. Oh, Vancouver still alive with a win against Edmonton. Detroit beat Minnesota. We beat the Nordiques and the New York Islanders beat the New Jersey Devils. So we are facing the Islanders in the conference finals. Ken Morrow ready to return to practice. All right, Brent Sutter ahead of schedule. That'd be great. Ooh, Vancouver with the upset. Vancouver eliminated the, the best team in the league, the Edmonton Orders, taken out by the Vancouver Canucks. And Minnesota moves on uh, with a win against Detroit. So it's going to be Vancouver, De uh, Minnesota in the West, and not the West, but uh, you know what I mean. 
And on our side, it's going to be us against the Islanders. <clears throat> All right, don't care. Russ Fitzpatrick ahead of schedule. Yeah, I could use him. He's been good during the regular season. Brent Sutter almost good to go. Also could use him. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the Islanders. Maybe we're gonna be lucky. Maybe they have a few injuries of their own. All right, everybody over here is healthy. All right, they have a few injuries. They have Mario Tremblay. They have Rick Chartres and Denny Podvin. Oh, Denny Podvin is huge. So, I mean, we are without Paul Coffey, they are without Denny Podvin, so. They still have a lot of very talented forwards, though, like, like this guy, this chump here, Mike Bussey. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's not gonna be easy. Alright, let's uh, play the Islanders. We start at home, another 4 out of 7, 4 best of 7, whatever. Alright, go waiters, go. Steve Penny is a net for the Islanders. Jim Martinson's a net for the waiters. Go waiters, go. Let's uh, move on to the Stanley Cup final. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Ooh, that, that uh, almost hurt to look at that. Like, I almost feel bad. We beat the Islanders 11 nothing in game one of the conference finals. We outshot the Islanders 37 to 27. Jim Martinson was the first out of the game with 27 saves. He had the shutout. Imagine, like, we scored 11 goals and our first star is still our goaltender. Mark Messi was the second star with three goals and an assist and Bo Berglund was the th uh, third star with four assists. Sorry for the train here. Stupid train. 12,181 people in attendance for the game. Four goals were scored in the first period. Greg Teberge on the power play from Peter Stashny, then Mark Messi on the power play unassisted, then Brent Sutter from Brettel, and Matty Agman from Bo Berglund and Jay Wells. 4 nothing Hartford after one. We had a fight between Randy Cunnywort and Larry Playfair. And we scored uh, five goals in the second period. Dave Poulin from Darren Veitch and Bo Berglund. Darren Veitch from Bo Berglund and Dave Poulin. Brettel on the power play from Greg Teberge and Peter Stashny. Matty Agman from J. Wells and Bo Berglund. And then Gordy Roberts from Mark Messi and Glenn Anderson. 9 nothing after two. Uh, I wonder if the coach was like, Yo, hey, you have to watch your defense in the third period. Don't give them an inch. And in the third period, Mark Messi scored from Glenn Anderson and Peter Stashney, and Mark Messi from Peter Stashney and Rob Ramage, 11 nothing. It is a beautiful sight. Although we have like three messages, probably two of them are injuries to players that I need. No, wow, look at, look at us. Prolific passing night for Bo Berglund. He had four assists, as we saw. Mark Messi had three goals and an assist, as we saw as well. Excellent passing leads for products of night for Peter Stashny. Four assists as well. Uh, the most sold jerseys in April for the waiters. Mark Messi, Wolf Payment, Paul Coffey, Peter Stashny, and Darren Veitch. Brent Sutter says that he is ready to play. That's good. Development report. Okay. Lots of those guys are never going to play for me. And the top setting jerseys for April. Risto Silton and Edmonton is first. Uh, Mark Messier is 16th and Wolf Payment is 17th. All right, what do we have here? So we won 11 nothing, and Minnesota beat Vancouver 3-2. All right, Russ Fitzpatrick is close to returning. That's good. I have to select a Hall of Fame nominee. All right, who am I going to nominate? Bobby Russo, Phil Goyette, Red Berenson, Don Ari, Dennis Hall, Gary Bergman, Bob Pulford, Bob Bone, Ralph Backstrom, or... Oof, I don't know many of those guys. 
Since I don't know those guys, I'm gonna roll a die and randomly choose who I am nominating. Red Berenson it is. There you go. Alright, so game two. I'm sure the Islanders are gonna come out strong because that was quite the shellacking in game one. So let's go ahead and see. Steve Penny in net for the Islanders. Jim Martinson in net for us. Go waiters, go. A little bit more difficult to win, but we still won a 3-1 victory. So we are leading the series 2 to nothing. Uh, the Islanders outshot us 34 to 31 in that one. Peter Stashney was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Larry Playfair was the second star with a goal. And Glenn Anderson was the third star with an assist. 12,427 people in attendance for the game. Islanders scored first, but in the second period, Brettel scored on the power play to tie the game from Darren Veitch and Wolf Payment. Then in the third period, Peter Stashney from Glenn Anderson. And then Peter Stashney again on the power play already is 15th of the playoffs from Brettel and Greg Teberge. 3-1. Hartford the victory. Peter Stashny has been nothing short of exceptional. I'm glad I can mute my mic. I'm sure it didn't look pretty on the camera to look at me sneeze, but at least you didn't get to listen to me do that. Oh, Rob Ramage and Gordy Roberts are hurt. Yeah, I this game hates me. Gordy Roberts hurt two to three weeks. Beautiful. And Rob Ramage is day to day. I don't even know if he can play. Look at that. All right. Oh, Rob Ramage can play Killstrom. You're gonna you're gonna play. Maybe. I guess I'm re recalling Kitchen. If I lose, that's gonna be because if I lose this series, it's gonna be because of the injuries. It's starting to pile up. Like, <laughs> like we're about to have a scroll bar here. All right, we have a day off. Oh wait, uh, Vancouver beat Minnesota, so I believe that the series is tied at one. Ahead and advance. Ross Fitzpatrick is coming back, at least some good news. And now we are in New York to play the Islanders. I, Peter Stashny is on fire, folks. So hopefully that continues because uh, I have a lot of injuries. Jim Martinson is going to be in net for us. Steve Penny in net for the Islanders. Go, waiters, go. A 4 3 victory. We are now up 3 0 in our series. Uh, we outshot the New York Islanders 36-33. Hey, Kel, uh, I swept the Bruins in the first round, and I beat the Quebec Nordiques in six in the second round, and now I am up 3 nothing against the Islanders in the conference finals. I have a lot of injuries. A lot. I'm still winning, though. Just won this game 4-3. Uh, we outshot the Islanders 36 to 33. Ray Newfeld was the first star of the game. He had two goals. Bob Bourne was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Mark Messi was the third star with two goals. Mark Messi scored his 10th of the playoffs from Peter Stashny and Glenn Anderson. Then Ray Newfeld from Anton Stashny and Jay Wells. And then Mark Messi unassisted. 3 0 Hartford here after one. Then in the second period, Ray Newfeld made it 4 0 from Bo Berglund, then the Islanders scored. It was 4 1 Hartford after two. Then in the third period, the Islanders scored twice. They came to it in one, and they still had eight minutes and 33 seconds to tie the game, but they couldn't. And we won, and it's beautiful. And now I'm afraid that I have more injuries. Look at that number two. That two in red here i don't like it oh mark missy is hurt and rob ramage all right like why not huh Pfft. 
Look at that. I... Alright, so three weeks for Rob Ramage. Messi is day to day. I hope he can play. And a good night for Kevin McCarthy. He had four assists uh, for the Canucks. And the Canucks lost, however, 6 5. Oh boy. Alright, so Mark Messi cannot play, but Fitzpatrick can come in for him. We're good. Rob Ramage needs to. Oh my god. This is terrible. Who am I getting now? I guess Mark Rano. He's played before. He's not very good, but at this point, I mean, nobody's good. I have too many injuries. I have four of my top seven defensemen hurt. All right, so we are playing in New York against the Islanders again. Uh, we are up 3 nothing in this series. So if we can win this game and the other series can go to like seven games, maybe I can get a body to come back and materialize into a jersey to take a body check and get hurt again or something, you know? All right. Jim Martinson in net for us, Steve Penny in net for the Islanders. Go, Waiters, go. At, at this point, is it still the Waiters? I mean, I have so many injuries. And we won 5 4. Screw that excuse of injuries. That's for losers. Look at us. We just swept the Islanders. 5 4 victory. Uh, we outshot the Islanders 47 to 30. Tommy Samuelson was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Uh, oh, what is uh, Mike Kasiski was the second star with a goal and an assist, and Peter Stashny was the third star with three assists. Islanders opened up the scoring in the first, then Tommy Samuelson scored from Bo Berglund and Peter Stashny, then Bo Berglund from Dave Pune and Tommy Samuelson. 2 1 Hartford after one. Islanders scored three goals in the second period. They were up 4-2. It didn't look too good for us, but we scored three unanswered goals in the third period. Matty Agman from Peter Stashny and Tommy Samuelson. Then Glenn Anderson tied the game on the power play from Russ Fitzpatrick and Peter Stashny. And then finally, Brettel scored the game winner on the power play from Matty Agman and Darren Veitch. 5-4 the final score. And we're going to the Stanley Cup Finals again, folks. And Vancouver beat Minnesota 3 to 1. So, what's their series looking like? Series tied at 2. I like that. I, I can get for them to get tired while I recuperate a little bit. Oh, thank you. I don't know who I'm going to face. Like, Vancouver and Minnesota have been decent, both have been decent teams. Let's see here. Minnesota takes the lead 3-2 in the series with a win. Mark Messi back soon. Yeah, I, I need him. Alright, Mark Messi went in sight of returning. Oh, Minnesota eliminated Vancouver with a 5-1 win. So we are starting right tomorrow. Against the Minnesota North Stars is going to be our Stanley Cup Finals this year, folks. So last year we played the Edmonton Oilers. This time it's going to be Zeno Cicerelli and the Minnesota North Stars. Ken Morrow is almost back. I could use him for sure. Gordy Roberts is ready to return to practice. All right. All right. Let's take a look at the North Stars here before we get started. So Neil Broughton is hurt. He may or may not play. 
Look at that. They have barely any injuries. Chris Nyland is hurt, not gonna play. Jim Fox is hurt, not gonna play. But that's it. Other than that, they have all of their best players. They are ready to go. Yeah, they have a good team. It's not gonna be easy, folks. We went 1-1-1 one, one, one against the North Stars this season. All right, so it starts in Hartford. Stanley Cup Finals is underway. Uh, go, Waiters, go. Andy Moog is going to be in net for the North Stars. Jim Martinson in net for us. And of course, go waiters, go. Oh, we lost the first game in overtime 6 5. So a 6 5 loss in the first game of the Stanley Cup Finals. We were out shot 59-33. to 33. Steve Payne was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Matty Agman was the second star with two assists. And Zeno Cicerelli was the third star with a goal and an assist. 11,916 people in attendance for the game. Russ Fitzpatrick opened up the scoring in the first. Then Minnesota scored twice. It was 2-1 Minnesota after one. Then in the second period, Dave Pune scored his 10th of the playoffs from Matty Agman and Bo Berglund. Tied at two. Then Minnesota scored. It was 3 2 Minnesota after two. The third period, Minnesota made it 4 2. Then we scored three goals to take a 5 4 lead. Glenn Anderson scored his fifth from Mark Messi and Mark Renault. Then Brettel from Brent Sutter and Randy Connieworth. And then Bo Berglund from Matty Agman and Dave Poulain. 5 4 Hartford after at that point. Minnesota tied the game late in the third period and then in the overtime Billy Carroll played the hero with the game winning goal and we lost 6-5 oh and Mark Missy is hurt <laughs> it's hard to have fun sometimes sometimes you try but uh... right, Mark Missy is day to day Right, do I need to recall somebody? Mark Messi cannot play. Stashny can play. Neufeld can play. All right. We're good. All right. Ken Morrow is feeling better. Rob Ramage uh, starts skating soon. It's probably going to be too late. Uh, all right. So Minnesota is in town now. We are down one nothing in the series against them. So we need to win this game to tie the series at one. Andy Moog is going to be in net for Minnesota. Jim Martinson is going to be in net for us. And of course, come on, waiters. We need to bounce back. And we did a 5-4 win. So we are tied at one here in the Stanley Cup Finals against Minnesota. We outshot them 31-29. to uh, Russ Fitzpatrick was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Bobby Smith was the second star with a goal. And Dave Poulin was the third star with a goal and an assist. 11,951 uh, people in attendance for the game. Brent Sutter opened up the scoring in the first from Bo Berglund and Anton Stashny. Then Marion Stashny from Wolf Payment and Ray Newfield. Then Russ Fitzpatrick from Dave Poulin and Glenn Anderson. 3-0 Hartford here after one. And in the second period, Minnesota scored. Then we scored again. Bo Berglund from Bill Kitchen and Anton Stashny. Then Minnesota scored twice. It was 4-3. Minnesota tied the game in the third period. But with a minute and 14 seconds left to go, Dave Pulling scored the game-winning goal from Russ Fitzpatrick and Brettel. 5-4 uh, winning the win. Sorry. Oof. Ken Morrow on the brink of returning. I, I could use him. He's not that great, but you know he's better than some of the guys I'm playing right now. Ken Morrow is back. All right, so let's bring him back. Sending down Mark Renault or Killstrom, maybe. Don't look like he's been playing. I'm sending down Mark Renault. There you go. 
All right, the game moves to Minnesota, tied at one goal, uh, one game apiece. Stanley Cup Finals. Woof. Are we gonna win? Jim Martinson in net for us. Andy Moog in net for Minnesota. Go waiters, go. Please. Oh yeah, a four-one victory. So now we are up two-one in the series against the. Minnesota North Stars, a nice 4-1 win on the road. We were outshot 33 to 30 in that one as well. Uh, Brettel was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Jim Martinson was the second star with 32 saves, and Peter Stashney was the third star with a goal and two assists. All right, so Glenn Anderson opened up the scoring in the first from Peter Stashney and Greg Taberge. Then the North Stars tied the game. It was 1-1 after one. In the second period, Peter Stashny scored on a power play from Bretto and Darren Veitch, then Brent Sutter from Bretto and Ken Morrow. It was 3-1 Hartford after two. Then in the third period, Matty Agman scored on a power play from Peter Stashny and Bretto, and we had a 4-1 victory. Also had some face punching. Greg Smith and Jay Wells went at it against each other. Mark Macy not far from returning. Yeah, it, it would be great if he was healthy. All right, Mark Macy is fully healthy. All right, we're up 2-1 in the series, or in, I should say in the, in the Stanley Cup Finals. Same goaltenders, Martinson and Moog in net. Come on, Werders, let's make it a 3-1 lead in the series for us. Come on, give me a weighty W, please. A weighty W it was. A 8-4 victory, and we are one win away from a Stanley Cup. 8-4 uh, to win. We outshot Minnesota 40... 45 to 28. Jay Wells was the first out of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Brent Sutter was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Bo Berglund was the third star with a goal and an assist. Minnesota scored first in the first period. Then we scored three goals. Russ Fitzpatrick from Wilf Payment and Tommy Samuelson. Then Peter Stashney from Matty Agman and Tommy Samuelson. And then finally, Brent Sutter scored his fifth from Brettel and Randy Kennyworth. 3 1 Hartford after one. We had a fight between Brad Maxwell and Mark Messier. In the second period, Brettel scored his 10th of the playoffs from Jay Wells and Russ Fitzpatrick. It was 4-1. Then Minnesota, Minnesota scored twice. It was 4-3, but we scored two more. Jay Wells from Brent Sutter and Dave Poulin. And then Matty Agman scored his 10th on the power play from Greg Taberge and with Payment. 6-3 Hartford after two. And then in the third period, Russ Fitzpatrick scored his 5th from Bo Berglund and Brent Sutter. Then Bo Berglund scored his 5th as well from Greg Taberge and Jay Wells. It was 8-3. Minnesota scored once. It was 8-4. That was it. So, so we are one win away from the precious trophy. All right. And we are back in Hartford. I would love nothing more than to win the cup in front of our fans. And it can be done with a win right now. Andy Moog, Jim Martinson in net. Go waiters, go. Alright. Let's do it in front of the fans. For the fans. Come on, Hartford. <laughs> a 10-4 win to win the cup. So, we won the cup again. All right, so we were outshot 39 to 33 in that one. Peter Stashny was the first star of the game. He had three goals and an assist. Bo Berglund was the second star with three goals. And finally, Marion Stashny was the third star with three assists. Uh, yes, it is a repeat. All right, so 11,908 people in attendance for the game. Bo Berglund scored the first goal of the game unassisted. Then with payment from Russ Fitzpatrick and Marion Stashney. Then Ken Morrow from Matty Agman and Brent Sutter. And finally, Bo Berglund short-handed from Marion Stashney and Tommy Samuelson. 4 nothing Hartford after one. The second period, Minnesota scored. Then Jay Wells scored from Mark Messi and Glenn Anderson. Then Bo Berglund from Peter Stashney and Mark Messi. It was 6-1. Then Minnesota scored three goals. It was 6-4 after two. 
but we added four more goals in the third period. Peter Stashny on the power play from Matty Agman and Brettel. Then Dave Poulin from Russ Fitzpatrick and Marion Stashny. Peter Stashny again from Mark Messi and Glenn Anderson. And then finally, Peter Stashny completed his hat trick, his 20th of the playoffs from Greg Taberge and Russ Fitzpatrick. 10-4, the final score. And that completes it, folks. Tommy Samuelson got hurt in the last game. All right, so we can see my progress uh, all the way to the Stanley Cup. The Nordiques is the only team that really uh, that really gave me some troubles. You are correct, sir. You you are even ahead of me. I was about to start talking about that. Um, let's see. Tommy Samuelson out for two weeks. And I to remember for Bo Berglund, he had three goals. He had a hat trick. Stash need three goals and an assist. And Hartford defeats Minnesota. Current Ward was playing with injury teams. Uh, uh, reveals, yeah, he had a broken neck. <laughs> Payment was playing with injury. Stashney was playing it with injury. Yeah, they were. They all were. Tim Kerstix with Philadelphia, two-year extension. Not that it really matters. So Kel already spilled the beans. In case people forgot what my challenge was. So my challenge was to start with the Whalers in the their first year in the NHL and to win the Stanley Cup back to back. Um, I had added some elements to the challenge. The computer was drafting for me so that I wouldn't have the uh, upper hand of knowing the players more than the computer. And uh, also I had another thing where I would roll a random number. And if that player, if that number was one player on my team, I had to trade him. Uh, we had to do that twice. Uh, one time it was some guy that was pretty inconsequential, but the second time was Charlie Simmer that I had just acquired, and then I had to trade him right away again. That's how I ended up with Wolf Payment and uh, Rob Ramage. I made a big trade uh, for those guys. So my challenge is complete. I did win the Stanley Cup two years in a row, uh, as I set out to do. And um, I think it's time for ARG to take a little break from Franchise Hockey Manager. Um, to, be, uh, to be honest, uh, especially that last season with all the injuries and everything, it's really paid its toll on me. Uh, I've been making very long series for Franchise Hockey Manager for four years in a row. And the uh, the game, I I know skill. I'm sorry. the The game brings very little new every year and everything. And while I like the game, I feel a little burnt out. Like if you if you visit my YouTube channel, you're gonna see that I've spent a lot of hours in those games. And you know, it's the point that I'm pretty good at the game to where I have to create those artificial challenges just to feel challenged and even then I kind of you know beat the game so I'm going to take a little break from franchise hockey manager we'll see when the new one comes out uh, more than likely I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna start a series with it but uh, I'm due for a little break it's been four years in a row now four years of making hour-long videos of just saying just saying you know the same players names over and over and over and over and I really got frustrated this season for losing Paul Coffey again for like most of the season because he was hurt most of the season the previous season as well and he was my favorite player when I was a kid and I, I feel like I didn't even get to enjoy having him on my team I feel like it was taken away from me and I know that it's you know it's the game it happens and everything but look at my list of injuries on the bottom right like it's like ugh, it feels exhausting just looking at it so I'm taking a little break. Uh, it was so fun to do the challenge. And of course, as usual, you know, thank you for everybody that stuck with me through it all. Uh, the, I will be coming back to the, you know, to 
that franchise, not not the waiters, but you know, franchise hockey manager. I'm gonna be coming back to it eventually. I just need a break um, and you know, play other games and do other things. So it was fun. I'm glad that I did it. I always like the waiters. I always like their sweaters. One of my favorite sweaters uh, ever. Uh, I also like the the King's purple jersey a lot and maybe i'm biased but i really love the sins you know right now their black and red jerseys i think are pretty sharp all right kel i'll see you as well so yeah uh, that's it for today that's it for this entire series we beat the challenge folks so thank you for sticking with me and for now it's arg out peace out folks and i'll see you next time